What's going on guys? T-Mart here and today I'm bringing you guys another Black Ops 2 tips and tricks video and in this one we're going to be covering the third and final part of my little mini series for search and destroy bomb plant spots. If you guys haven't seen part one or two, click the annotation on screen or the link down in the description. Make sure you go check them out. But basically the goal with this series is to give you guys spots to plant the bomb to where you can cover it from really really good cover locations to where the enemy won't be able to take you out and you're pretty much guaranteed to win that round. So if you play any search and destroy at all, this is going to be a very useful video for you. And, and I hope you enjoy it. Now also in this video I do have a really cool thing to tell you guys about at the end uh, involving Gamma Labs where they're doing a really special kind of deal right now for all of Team Team Art. So if you've ever wanted to try it or if you need to restock, now would be the time. But uh, anyway, let's get into the video. So uh, first of all for the A-bomb site, you can plan it over here on this corner right here and you've got a bunch of different options. So number one is to run up towards the middle, see if anybody comes from over at B or you can lay down right here and kind of watch the kitchen and see people as they run this way. You can take them out. And then if you want to check the bomb, you can come down here. You can see the bomb right there. So if anybody's defusing, you're going to be able to take them out. Now also, if you planted it there, you can go all the way up into the master bedroom, which is a pretty common spot. A lot of people will look here. But if you play your cards right, you can get the win pretty easily. And if you've got a target finder, if you aim down sight through this curtain, you can actually still see people. It's kind of like a wall hack. Now, my favorite spot, if you've planted it right here, is to come over here behind this block. Sit right here, watch people as they come from the middle. If you think somebody's defusing, you can pop up and take them out, and nobody will really check this spot. If you see, if they try to come towards your spawn, you're going to see them right across your vision right here. You'll be able to take them out and cover the bombs. So that can be pretty useful. Now let's move on to B. All right, guys, now for the B bomb site. Now, uh, for B, there is one really, really good plant spot that not a lot of people take advantage of. And why it's so good is because it gives you a couple of backup options. Like, if somebody sees you in your spot that you're covering the bomb from, you've got another spot, or two spots, actually, that you can run to to protect it. So it pretty much guarantees you the win here. There's no way you're going to lose if you get it planted and get back into the first spot. So what you want to do is come over here and plant the bomb somewhere here to where you can see it kind of from the middle. So like right here looks good and and then you got a bunch of things you can do so Originally what I'll do is I'll come back here and you can see the bomb right there If anybody spots you back here watching the bomb then what you can do is you can come around Go up into your spawn building where a lot of people tend to go But this is your backup spot and you can see it from here if somebody sees you up in here And you want to move to somewhere else you can come around back through here back through the middle and keep in mind You're always running through your spawn here So you're usually gonna be pretty safe you can lay down right here watch the kitchen watch the middle and pop up and shoot the bomb if you have to. So there you have it. You've got three spots that you can move to, you know, kind of whenever you want and be safe from the enemies. It allows you to show up in different areas, still protect the bomb, and really just make sure that so the enemy can never, ever defuse it. So uh, if you get it planted there at B, you're pretty much guaranteed the win. Now moving on to the next map, I'll see you guys in a sec. Welcome to the slums, guys. So starting off over here today, there's not really too much available, but uh, there are two spots I like to use. So one is to just plant it on this side of the bomb and then run back towards your spawn. If you get out here in the street or just kind of like sit behind this car or sit in this corner or whatever, usually people won't come all the way out here looking for you. They'll look in blue for sure, but they won't come all the way out here usually, and usually you'll be able to get them if they do. But if you think somebody's defusing, you can just kind of come around here. You can see the bomb right there, come back behind the wall. And, and that's not too bad. Usually people won't check there, but it really depends who you're playing. They might be really good and, and be aware of that. Now also, another thing I like to do is if you plant it over here and plant it as far away from the bomb as possible, you can come towards the middle kind of courtyard area and just kind of sit behind this dumpster and watch as people come from their spawn and kind of loop back around here from the B-bomb site and you can kill people as they do that. And then also you can pop up and you got a great view of the bomb right there as well as if you absolutely know nobody's going to be coming from this way, you can come back here and you can kind of see underneath this dumpster if you get all the way back here and, and you can see people walking around. And if somebody starts defusing, just come up, shoot them, and, and you got yourself a win. Now for the B bomb site, you've got a little bit more to work with. I really, really like planting bees. So one reason is if you plant the bomb right here on this corner, you can run all the way back into the enemy team spawn, which is a little bit risky. You want to make sure you have control of this side of the map. But if you can get back here, you can see the bomb right there, and you'll be able to take it out from behind this red car, which nobody will ever expect you to be there. So that can be pretty useful. Or what I like even more is if you plant it on this side, if you right here, as close to the bomb as the bomb possible, you run back into your spawn, which is obviously a lot, lot, lot more useful and a lot safer. You can come all the way back here, and boom, you can see the bomb right there. You can see people running around, you can shoot them, or if you absolutely have to, you can run up and shoot them from up here. So 
uh, that can be pretty useful as well. And nobody is ever going to have enough time to come all the way back into your spawn, kill you behind that car, and then get all the way back to defuse a bomb. They just won't have enough time. So uh, both of those are pretty much guaranteed wins. Now let's move on to the next map. All right, guys, here we are. So we're on Standoff, which is one of my favorite maps in Black Ops 2, and it's one of the best maps for Search and Destroy, at least for plant spots, in my opinion. I don't know if I've ever lost a game of Search and Destroy here, just because offense is so, so, so easy. So uh, starting off over here, if you can clear out the A-bomb site and get clear for a plant, what you want to do is you want to plant it right here, as far away from the bomb as possible on the tank side. You got a bunch of options. So number one is you can come over here, hop up on this statue, crouch down. This is actually a pretty good spot. It offers you a lot of cover from the left side over there. And, and you can kind of see the whole area. And if someone starts to defuse, you can hop down, you can look underneath the tank, and, and you can shoot the bomb through that. Now also, you can come over here to the crates, which is a much more obvious spot, but you can still see the bomb fully. And if anybody tries to defuse, you can take them out. Or if they see you there and they start throwing grenades and stuns and stuff, you can come up into the factory building, you can hop out of this window, and, and you can see the bomb right there, and you can take people out as well. So that, my friends, is a perfect little spot there. Again, it's one of those things where if you get in this spot, you've got a backup route to go up into the factory if shit hits the fan. So uh, that's pretty much a guarantee that in there for A. Let's take a look at B. Okay, so if you thought A was good, B is even better. You're going to be really surprised by this. So what you want to do is plant it on this corner, and it depends on if uh, if the enemy has control of this building or not. If they have control of this building, get down and try to plant it to where they can't see you. But if your team has control of the building, plant it to where it's got uh, a line of sight from the window. So like right here will work. So if you plant it here, you got a couple of options. Number one is you can go up into this top middle building. You can protect it from the window. Obviously, that's going to be very good. Now, also, you can come all the way over here, and you can sit like this. And nobody's going to be coming from behind you, so just sit here, wait until somebody you think is defusing, or, you know, if you just want to check, you can pop out, boom, you got the bomb right there. Or, if you want to, you can come over to the tank, and you got two options. One is to hop up on top of the tank, lay down, and boom, look at that. Nobody's going to see you here. You have a perfect line of sight to the bomb. Or... You can lay down and you can actually see under the tank and see the bomb as well. So B is just, it's almost too easy, especially if you get in one of these two tank spots because nobody will ever be able to defend this. So uh, there you have it, guys. Let's move on to Turbine. Okay, so I hope I'm not the only one that absolutely hates this map. Or not hates, but I just, I don't understand the need for a map this big in a Call of Duty game. It just slows everything down way too much and I don't like playing Turbine. Uh, at all. So uh, that doesn't mean I can't give you guys good spots though. But uh, anyway, if you're on Surge and Destroy on here, you're going to spawn over here. You're going to run up to the bomb this way. And there's always going to be people in this room. So you need to watch out for them. What you want to do is just come around the left side of this little cylinder and just kind of stay down. Get the bomb planted as far away from the bomb as possible, right like this. Oops, I let go of X. And and then run out here and you got a couple of options. You can just lay down and wait for enemies to come around this way because I'm guaranteeing you they will. Or you can come over here, kind of lay down and look for them, and then kind of crouch and look up at the bomb. And if you think somebody's going to be defusing, all you have to do is just come up right here and you can see the bomb right there. So that is very, very useful. Watch enemies as they flank around you from the front, and then also make sure you watch the bomb, and, and you should have yourself a win there. Alright, so for planting the bomb at B, if you plant it on this front side, you can literally protect it from pretty much anywhere on the map. Don't believe me? You plant it here. You can run anywhere along this bridge. You can sit up on this platform over there. You can get on any of these rocks. You can get all the way up in that computer room all the way up there. And you can be anywhere on the plane. You could be in any of these rocks. I mean, it's just literally unlimited the number of places you could be to protect the bomb from here. It's just the fact that you would have to get all the way over there and still protect the bomb and not die, which uh, can be pretty hard to do now typically what I like to do is I'll plant the bomb over here and then I'll come up here like this and and the enemy team will spawn over in here and there's probably gonna be a couple guys in here or something but what I'll do is I'll come over here sit behind this walk rock and just watch this doorway and if anybody comes through here you can take them out there's no way they're gonna win that gunfight and if you think somebody's defusing just be careful this doorway make sure nobody's gonna come through there at the wrong time and you can check the bomb like this and then slowly back up and you can just watch this doorway. And nobody's going to come behind you. They won't have enough time. So uh, you pretty much got yourself a win there. And, and it's pretty simple. So let's move on to the final map of this video. Alright guys, so here we are on Yemen. This is the final stop of our little mini-series bomb plant spots train. 
And, and over here at A, you've got a couple of good options. So one that's kind of obvious that a lot of people do, but I still like to do, and I usually use it because it usually works, and it's simple, is just to play it on this side of the bomb and then run back into this building back here. I mean, usually people won't be able to kill you out of here as long as you're not standing in the window like an idiot. Just kind of watch your back, check the bomb every now and then. The bomb will be right there on the ground. You can see the edge of the bomb site right there and shoot anybody if they're defusing. That can be pretty useful. And, and like I said, it's just really simple. Now, if you're playing people that are a little bit better and know how to defend against that, or you know maybe you just want to get creative with this, then what you can do is play it on this corner of the bomb as far away as possible. Bomb active. And this gives you two options. So number one is to come back here and watch to see if anybody tries to flank you from the middle. So just sit right here, and if you think somebody's defusing, pop up and you can see the bomb if you back up a little bit you can see it right there so boom you can shoot people if they're defusing you're going to be able to see them very easily now the other place you can go if you've got the bomb planter right here and and this really just depends on the map like if you think the enemy team is flanking you really hard and a lot of people are going to be coming from the middle or even your spawn then you can come all the way back up here to the little fruit stand and if you get up here, you're pretty much guaranteed the win. You can see the bomb right there, you can shoot anybody, and you can just kind of lay down and watch the enemy team spawn, and nobody's ever gonna kill you from here. If you can get in this spot with the bomb planted there, you aren't gonna lose. Now let's move on to B. Okay, so for over here at B, I've got another couple of good spots for you guys, one of which gives you a backup plan, which like I said, is like kind of the goal for Search and Destroy, that if they see you in one spot, then, uh, then you can go to another and, and stay safe and cover the bomb. So uh, what I want you guys to do for this spot is to just plant it on this side of the bomb, right like this. And one thing you can do is you can run up into this spawn building up here and, and protect the bomb from here. And if anybody's defusing, if you really need to get a good look at them, you can come all the way out here and see the whole bomb. So you can do that if you want to. Now, you can also run back into your spawn and get in this church building, which is a very, very good spot. You can't shoot through these walls, so it's going to be pretty much impossible for people to shoot you out of this as long as you aren't standing in the window like an idiot, kind of like over at A. But if anybody does see you and they start throwing nades or stuns or whatever, you can have a backup plan, come around the side of the church over here, and boom, you can see the bomb right there. And if anybody's defusing, you can take them out, and you can just kind of lay here, sit here, watch as people flank, and, and this is a pretty good spot in itself. Or you can even come over here behind the truck, and, and see the bomb from here. So uh, there's really a lot of options there. So anyway, there you have it guys. Those are my bomb plant spots for the last five maps in Black Ops 2. Hope you guys enjoyed this series. And, and I've got a bunch of Black Ops 2 tips and tricks coming soon. Now, uh, the last thing I want to talk to you guys about is, is what I mentioned towards the start of the video, which is the cool deal going on with Gamma right now. So as you guys know, I'm sponsored by them. They sponsor a lot of YouTubers. And, and right now, they're doing kind of a special thing for me and, and all of you guys, all of Team Team Arts. So what it is, is if you want to try out Gamma, they're actually doing a BOGO sale. So buy one, get one free to where it's pretty much 50% off. I mean, you pay the normal price for one and you get two. So if, like I said, if you've ever wanted to try it, now would be the time to do so because you get it for 50% off. Now also, they're doing a, a kind of a contest giveaway type thing right now where all you have to do is enter like your name and your email, I think. And every week, they're giving away free Gamma airsoft guns, shaker cups, and things like that. So you can sign up for that, it's free. All you have to do is, like I said, you put in your name and email, and, and you might win the weekly drawing. And they're also doing like game card stop cards and round. stuff like that. Refocus so I will link up. both of those things down in the description. If you guys wanna check them out, I would highly recommend, I would highly recommend it. I, I use Gamma myself, and, and I really, really like it. It's pretty much an energy drink. So if you guys ever wanted to try it, make sure you do. And a bunch of great videos coming soon. See you guys.